continue to discuss just a little bit longer. But first, we'll turn to the gentleman from Illinois who seeks recognition and would like to strike the last word and be recognized for five minutes, I'm sure. <laughs> I do, and thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. You know, I'm very proud to represent the agriculture industry of southern Illinois. We've got corn and soybeans and implement dealers. I'm also proud to represent the 100,000 people out of my 700-odd thousand constituents who live below the poverty level. Now, the face of poverty is often seen as the face of urban poverty in East St. Louis, Illinois. But I want to talk to you about a different face of poverty today, and that's rural poverty. I represent Jackson County, Illinois. Jackson County, Illinois has the highest poverty rate in the entire state of Illinois. Thirty percent of the people in Jackson County live in, under the poverty level, one out of every three. I represent Union County, Illinois, on the Mississippi River. Union County, Illinois, the governor chose to close a prison there. That prison's been closed. People are laid off. Highest unemployment in the state, 13.5 percent, far above the national average. Alexander County, Illinois, very southern tip of Illinois. I like to say that Cairo, Illinois is half the distance to Mississippi that it is to Chicago. Alexander County, Illinois, 20% of the people, one of their five, are 65 or older. My congressional district has more veterans, has a higher proportion of veterans than any other congressional district in the state of Illinois and more than most in this country. The unemployment rate among veterans is higher than it is among almost any other group. You know, while we've been having some interesting theological debates here, let's have an economic debate. Wall Street is setting new records. The Dow Jones Industrial closes at over 15,000. That's a record, never been set before. While Wall Street is setting new records, Main streets in southern Illinois, stores are closing. I'd like to know where the trickle-down is. Where's the trickle-down from that $15,000 close on the Dow Jones? Where, when is it going to trickle down to southern Illinois? And when are the people who are dependent on these food stamps going to see that trickle-down? I support this amendment. I support this amendment for the 100,000 people in my district who live below, below the poverty line. Thank you. I yield back my time.